Welcome to lesson 14. Today we're going to cover one move, number 23, Joe Dietre, fist under elbow. Even though it's just one move in the 124 posture form, it's quite long. So today will be a little bit longer lesson than the typical. One thing I want to add uh, is that uh, as I've been publishing these works, it's drawn a lot of attention from people who are deeply studied in the Yang Sao Chung method. And one thing I was reminded of uh, in terms of Yang Sao Chung's form is that the narrator, Wang Zihe, added his own flourishes, so to speak, in his narration of the names of the postures as Yang Sao Chung went through them. So, in the spirit of wanting to preserve the original Yang Sao Chong, what I found I've been having to do is not just take things literally. For example, there's 124 movements in the Yang Sao Chong English version that was published by Jin Sun Chu, his second disciple. And I'll get to that uh, later in the lessons. But today, I'd like to focus on the first lesson where I call the first left ward off Xie Fei Peng, which is diagonal flying ward off. When I check back at Yang Cheng Fu and Yang Shou Zhong's original Chinese works, there's no Xie Fei Peng. There's no diagonal flying ward off. This level of analysis that is being conducted right now as I'm producing this 124 solo form that was taught by Jin Sun Chu. Okay, now to posture 23, fist on the elbow. Here we go. Now we're starting at the last move after Bahu Guishan, that is the return tiger to the mountain. Number 20 is pull back. 21 is press forward. 22 is pushing away from the grass bird's tail. And now we're at 23, Jody Trey. This entire lesson today is going to be just this one, Jody Trey. And what you immediately see is that I'm going to what Wang Zhe calls single whip, but which Yang Xiaojong does not give a name to. I always called it modified single whip, but it is not the formal name. And there we are. Another angle. So I, I'm stopping here just so that you can get an idea of what this modified single whip is. So rather than shooting out with the right palm and hooking, we're stopping right here with the hands, the forearm blocking here. Okay. The left hand pauses inside the curve of the right arm. Show it to you in slow motion. Staggering of the hands and staggering back. That means one precedes the other and a little bit delayed. So here we have the correct orientation to the rear and to the left. So main points of emphasis is the unification of the hands and feet with the toeing in of the right foot, the staggering of the hands, the independent turning of the head, which is signature 
young family. And then there's the control of the foot. You absolutely do not want to lurch forward. If I was to add one more thing, it would be stepping wider than the rear heel front foot. Now here, same control. I step to, to the right and I make a right fist. And there's a lot of power in that right fist. Looking. And just on your elbow. Also, what I want to make note of is the right knee. You want to make sure that the right knee is not collapsing in, that it remains above the right ankle and foot. Now here I'm doing another angle. Just want to give you different angles of this. Turn the head. Control the foot step. Here is a block. Right here. The hands are blocking out. Now watch my eye direction. I look in the direction that I'm putting the fist on the elbow. Pause here. The left knee is slightly bent with the left toe up. And the right knee is consistent with the angle of the right foot. But the eyes are looking out, projecting out with peripheral vision. That again, slow motion. Again, this on the video in Chinese was called single whip but it is not accounted for in Yang Sao Chung's book, The Single Whip. What? The energy is projecting outward. This is a very solid move. There's a pause here. You're gonna find your rhythm in the Tai Chi form. This is a very good illustrative lesson for that because there's a few moves chained together. Empty step kick on the left heel. It's, it's in line with the rear heel or a little bit outside. And this is touching. The fist is touching the tip of the elbow. And to give you one more angle on this. Here I just want to show you how the right foot is set down and that you're shifting the weight from the left to the right. Belly button is facing forward. And once more, just showing you this isolated move. Watch the eyes, always watching and at the same time projecting outward. And here's the final time that we're going to be doing just on your elbow. Control. Empty step kick. And then just on your elbow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Really take time to separate out the different parts leading up to the actual fist on the elbow. And I'd suggest that you focus in this lesson on rhythm of stopping and going and finding first what feels comfortable to you and then reference back to the video to make a comparison to what I'm doing. It's great sharing with you. I'll see you next time.